All right, what's good, friends? It is the AM Icebreaker for today is Wednesday, February 21st. We are less than less than a month out from GDC. That is the Game Developers Conference. And as some of you know, I said I will be speaking there on movement and mobility for game developers. I'm very excited about that. And as I've mentioned a few times, if you're interested in having a movement screen done, that is, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do some tests on you. We'll see where you are. And that'll kind of pave the way for some movement coaching, either from me or from somebody else. Uh, like I said, I'll have my kit with me. So if you're interested, hit me up right away to leave a comment here. Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up wherever. Uh, like I said, and like I've also said, Sunday, we're going to be talking about dry fasting. So leave me a question about that if you're interested. And let's get to it. So a couple things I want to talk about today, actually. Uh, the first thing I wanted to mention was uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about another article I found on Facebook. And, um, you know, it always entertains me i guess i don't mean that to be condescending out that, that 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 i come off like a dick when i say stuff like this but i always find it interesting when people post things on facebook or on any social media that basically you know you've all seen it to the effect of oh i gotta take a break from social media i just can't i just can't you guys you know the secret about social media is that you you control to an extent what you see i mean obviously yeah we're not we can get into the conversation about ads and and all that stuff all day but you know, you choose who to follow. You choose who you don't follow. You choose, at the very least, there you do have a level of control over what shows up in your feed. So you know, keep that in mind, you guys. I mean, I was I was uh, telling one of my friends this the other day. You know, my feed is all interesting articles that I'm gonna you know start talking to you guys about, and cool art projects from friends of mine, and links to music that people are writing, and cool training videos, and notes about seminars. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have, I, I don't get the deluge of you know, social and political discourse that, you know, really just for me just stresses me out. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't mean to cast light on this event, but even after the recent school shooting, you know, there just wasn't much about it in my feed because, you know, you learn how to, you kind of learn how to, how to work the algorithm, right? So, um, you know, social media pro tip, I guess. Um, anyway, so back to the article, this is a really interesting article because, uh, the, the gist of the article was that, there was a survey done of a bunch of patients who had had um, non-surgical intervention for full thickness rotator cuff tears. So basically that means, you know, they, they torn something in their shoulder, it was a full tear, and, you know, rather than having somebody go in and stitch them back up, they just opted for PT. And it, it, the, the number that showed that, I forget exactly how they expressed the number, I'll link the article you have to read it, but basically it was, it was, it was over 50%, it was something like 80%. I think ultimately what it showed was 80% um, efficiency or efficacy of non-surgical treatment. So that's really interesting. And again, like I said, I'm not going to turn this into a debate about you should or shouldn't take drugs or Western medicine is bad. I mean, there's things that Western medicine is really good about. But this is something that we've kind of sort of been alluding to a lot, especially in kind of the movement mobility PT community is that you know maybe surgery isn't always the, the right answer. And, and I don't mean to say don't you know i don't mean to say go to your doctor and he says surgery like you know call him stupid or, or whatever i mean i'm not like i said i'm not a doctor i'm not a i'm not a registered or licensed any kind of medical so i'm not saying you do anything i guess what i'm saying is that it, kind of like what i've been saying all week is you know do, do your homework and you know nothing's a death sentence i mean we and be aware of what's out there you know educate yourself because maybe you don't i mean we i you know i hear it and i and i hear it more from people who are much more experience and much more qualified to say so than me nowadays that yeah you you might not need the uh what's, what's, what's a good way to describe it? The, the 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 nuclear option right away right so so that's i guess that's two things uh yeah condition your social media you know see what you want to see learn what you want to learn and you know get get opinions get educated i, I say that a lot but i mean i'm gonna keep saying it so uh while well, it's run a little long so we're gonna cut it off here have a great day and like i said leave me a question and we'll talk tomorrow. Cheers.